Yeah, I just I only noticed the uh, the change to Vix was that was that something that that you sort of everyone calls it Vix and you thought it makes sense or. Yes, I think that's the whole idea. Yeah. Uh, to change the just the name above, like you know, right. the trading name, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, there's no K in your name, right? Uh, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a kind it's of. A it's a pseudonym. I think right. it's no your upper, stage upper, name. It's a missed apostrophe. Okay. Like, you know? <laughs> so we, good, good few customers uh, saying some stories that uh, they're gonna meet at the gourmet Greystones and uh, oh, their friends see. asking, where is that? Uh, oh, that's down in uh, Vix, the yeah, yeah. beside the coffee shop, like you right. Know? So that customer uh, coming here like from, like uh, regularly for like three years or four. And uh, he doesn't know that uh, it's called Bruno <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, when they mention Vix, oh, Vix, oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we, that's why we were going, like, you know? So uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, made sense. It yeah, was yeah. kind of couple of uh, mention from the customers uh, sure. about this. So we, we just decided to... And you're, and you're tax dodging and as well. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're, their way, like, yeah. you know? And yeah. also, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, the main dodging, thing, like, yeah, you know? Uh, you got to keep moving. You got to keep yeah, moving yeah. forward. You can't <laughs> stay too long in one place. That's now, it, yeah. talking of that, how long have you guys been here? Because I was trying to f remember when it all started, because it seems like forever, but I know it's a few years. Uh, how many years have you been here? So, in general, when I learned, we're 20 years. Ah, okay. This year, nice. the business is uh, eight years. Eight years, uh, right. in yeah, August now. So. so. And it fits you like a glove. Was this something you did before? Was this something that you had thought about? No, no. I think I, I, I coming, I coming from army, IRATS, doing accountancy in Moldova. You know, so okay. uh, I used to work uh, before that in uh, one single place, uh, which it's uh, started in uh, pizzas and cream. Okay. Back in 2009 and or 10, you know. And was that so in the seed then? Did you kind of like it, or, or, or you know, just it's a, it's a, it's a well, big just, leap to do your just, own thing. Uh, just uh, that that idea comes straight away after probably a couple of years, like you know. Uh, right. We, I'm thinking. To, try let's try see how it's going like you know was that a was that a, a like a difficult decision was it easy because most people going into their own business it's it's quite a big step and and, and it can be thrilling it was but a it hard can be... time uh, it wasn't, when we... wasn't easy right. wasn't easy uh, financially and when it wasn't easy you know to you know think about like having business running a business and yeah. this you know like a coffee shop we had no idea what was going on right we were, like, Lucky we had a friend, he was working here, so we kind of, from himself, we know how it's going, how will, how this will work. And it does seem to, in my mind, have worked from the start, or maybe, was it, was it, you know, a while before you settled in? I don't know how long it took you to feel comfortable. Well, I think it took probably... It took a good few years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I think, uh, I think the partnership, uh, Oh, that's my opinion only mm. like you know it's yeah. it's not really great uh, to have a partnership with, when you open a restaurant okay. or coffee shop like you know because, so did you have a partnership uh, at the start I, yes right that's, that's okay. why we start in partnership like you know gotcha. because uh, financial uh, we couldn't afford to, to right. open the door like you know so mm. we get uh, we get the guy who was a partner uh, we, we've been in yeah, partnership yeah. with him like you know then uh, three years was tough, like you know, because yeah. one thinking one way, the other one thinking right. Different ways, That's like, the main know, thing because so. you have different ideas of how it should go, and that then, makes uh, it a yeah. the right. life the life uh, troll like this. So we, so we we kind of in 2019 open another uh, coffee shop. We, we 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 get another coffee shop like uh, down in oh. Shankill. Ah. Then uh, pandemic came, so uh, well. then we decide that uh, we didn't know what's going on, like you know. So sure. we decide kind of to split. Okay. Could work, uh, and, uh, and I think it's worked for both way, working uh, right. perfect, like you know, because uh, uh, yeah. we we didn't agree before. Like uh, I, I think it was our fault. We didn't agree before who's mm. doing what and stuff okay. like that. You know, so at least uh, when you when you own, you kind of like you know. Sure, the decisions are definite. And, yeah. Anything it's yeah. coming up, uh, you have to solve all the problems. Like well, you know, so you, have, you don't leave to the partner yeah. or because we you have, don't leave when you have two lead singers in a band, it can be tricky. You know, just bo both you trying to figure out what's going to what it sh everything should look like well, and think, how to play i think and, the partnership yeah. for is for this particular yeah. business yeah. is not uh, suitable like you know so I was think, that uh, was that um was that 2019 that you managed to take over on your own that's what that you took over on your own then took over when, yeah. right in, just in the middle of pandemic like you know so. and how, how did that feel i'm sure that felt really good just to know that it, okay it it's us a bit, now it was a bit difficult because uh, as you know during covid we wasn't allowed to have any tables uh, right, to do right. table service or even so we was working both of us 
like seven days a week and <laughs> no employees so the, no, no employees, employees no. Right, right. we couldn't afford so we did okay. we served only takeaway coffees for a month or two and then we start to serve takeaway food as well so it was step by step we yeah. was both working hard and to put the business on the, that, <laughs> that's know? physically very hard but it's, it's also mentally very hard when when you're you're kind of in a lighthouse like it's every day is the every same was there, was there a turning point for that was there a kind of a, a feeling that you you're everything's going to be fine i don't know if there was a like a moment that maybe when you got your first employee I, or I, I think if this uh, coffee shop uh, wasn't bray or anywhere else in yeah. the ireland it could happen like you know right but because uh, I, I think because customers are people of Greystones, they are kind of like yeah. you know, they are so loyal, so nice, right? Uh, so easy going. But well, you've got a club, like, you know, you've almost got a club here, like this seems to be actually it is a, as a family, like you know, yeah. like if you're coming from nowhere and you're coming here, so yeah, yeah, it's, I'm sure you're getting some. And it's not, it's like not, it's not a swingers you. club, is it? Uh, no. Well, some, um, I suppose it depends on the swimmers. Swimmers club, swimmers club, swimmers club. There you go. I miss her. I miss her. The special knock. Sign up the membership like to find out, like you know. So. But I would hope at this stage, given that how well established you are, that you have got this lovely, you know, solid following. Is it easier now? Does it feel okay? Because you, you work, you both of you work like, you know, seven days a week pretty much and you're up early and you're going back late and all that. Is it better? Is it, do you feel good that it's it's all... Um... Yeah, we feel, we feel good that uh, yeah. we kind of losing our, like, um, personal... Uh, uh, life. Life, <laughs> you know. That's yeah. kind of like, you know... It's right. a bit difficult, you know, to to have weekends together because yeah, yeah. We, you know uh, we was we're trying to you know at least I'm working during the week he's working on right. during the week and weekends so uh, weekends I have to spend with the kids because they have lots of activities they have sure. stuff so one of the parents has to be with the kids you right. know, as well so um, it's hard to to have a weekend together but yeah yeah at least we have dinner together we have everything together very nice so you're spoiled we have one... he's spoiled you. yes <laughs> sometimes we can so we, we can be together one... at work you know yeah. so hey. So but we I, have a holiday together once I, a year, so that's good. I have a brother who ran, before the Happy Prairie, it was Charlie's. My brother had a veg shop up on the top of the town. Yeah. And like that, he was up at half five every day religiously, went into Smithfield, got all the fruit and veg. And was generally getting home around eight. Oh. And then he had a, a, a rule that he always did the books every day. So he never got you know caught up and all that. And that was, he loved it on one level, but it was also just you know that's all his life was was just doing that you must be thinking about the future and thinking whether well, you'd like to get to a point where you could take two or three days off every week is, is that something that you hope will happen or think will happen i i, I think like uh, again like in business like this uh, mm. probably uh, they indeed of the presence of you every day like okay you know? yeah yeah so uh, it is your, your part of the, sh be, the deal